Our time with the BMW 335i M Performance Edition is officially up. When we took delivery of the car a year ago, there were some things we knew about it, that it was a 225 kilowatt bright blue beast that promised some driving fun, and that it was destined to be made in limited numbers. And now after 12 months, some things have stayed the same, but some things have changed. The colour still polarises opinions as much as it ever has, and there are still only 500 Performance Edition BMWs on the road. But that output figure did change for the better while the car was in our care. A few months back, we booked our 335i into BMW for the fitment of the Performance Pack, a 15,000 Rand option that does exactly what it says on the tin. It adds 15 kilowatts to the total output, which gives the car a surprising boost, not just in the tested figures we achieved at Midval Racetrack, but also in everyday driving. By fitting a new airbox and updating the engine software, the 335i is endowed with enough extra power to cut its 0 to 100 sprint time by half a second, not an insignificant amount for a car this size. What that means for normal use is that it becomes that little bit more effortless and a fair amount more engaging thanks to improved responsiveness across the rev range. So with that in mind, we figured that before we hand it back, we'd take it on one last road trip to a place that was worthy of its driving talent. So we packed an overnight bag and headed to Mpumalanga, where the mountain roads would give the engine a good opportunity to stretch its legs and provide the chassis with a good challenge to show off what it can do. We knew heading out here that this was going to be a very enjoyable drive. Even around town, on the very rare occasions when the 335i was given a bit of space, the acceleration was impressive and the grip was inspiringly good. Now, with open roads and long uninterrupted sweeps, it certainly was the last hurrah the car deserved, and it brought home to us just how well sorted it is, constantly delivering involving dynamics. And it has the right amount of attitude in the looks to make you believe that it can deliver on the performance part of its name. The Laguna Seca Blue, exclusive to this model, makes it stand out, and the combination of black plastic and carbon fiber finishes are surprisingly subtle in comparison, although our road trip took a not so subtle chunk out of the front splitter. The interior was well spec but fairly straightforward BMW fare. Useful extras included Bluetooth and USB as well as sat nav. While it generally stood up well to the rigors of everyday use and the occasional road trip, there was a very strange issue with the door seals, which squeaked continuously from the day we got the car until we sent it back. A bit of internet investigation and some viewer feedback revealed that it's a 3 Series problem and not something specific to our test car. That oddity was the only downside to what has been a very satisfying year with the BMW 335i Performance Edition. It's a year that allowed us an opportunity to experience a somewhat rare version of a very good car, made even better by the power provided by the Performance Pack. Although it will soon be gone from the RPM TV long-term garage, thanks to its driving talent and that color, it won't soon be forgotten. The 335i M Performance Edition proved itself to be an immensely satisfying car, offering style, comfort and true driving enjoyment. The only downside was the squeaky door seals.